Welcome to Encounters with Pastor Mike. As men, we seldom discuss those private moments of real intimacy, even with our closest friends. Perhaps it's how we were raised, and even in church, the thought that we could have anything more than a religious experience seems strange. I'll never forget an African brother had spoken to the congregation, and as he began to worship God, he began to say, he, he's touching me. Just the sound of his voice gave you the sense that he was experiencing God at another level. You see, for a man, could it be possible? I guess the real question is, are we ready to let down our God, to meet God in the secret place and allow God to tap into the deep recesses of our spirit and pull us into his presence beyond what we could think or imagine? You see, David could do that. And it's what made his encounter so rich and so passionate. You could hear it and even feel it as he writes. He says, my heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Or when he writes, taste and see that the Lord is good. God looked beyond his imperfections and saw a man willing to pursue him, even if others thought he was a fool. We like to put things in boxes and make the perfect shape, but with worship there is no pattern. Sometimes he's spontaneous. You see, sometimes you pick the setting and the music, but sometimes he picks the place and sets his own atmosphere. Intimacy with God is intentional, and it is the pursuit of those who worship him in spirit and in truth. You see, in Acts the 13th chapter, the writer says, David was a man after God's heart. That can lead us to three conclusions. Number one, pursuit. He is concerned about what God thinks, how God feels, and how God moves. He is the one who pursued God's heart. Number two, position. His delight is in the word of God. His desires take second place to the will of God. His position is the same as Christ. Not my will, but thy will be done. And number three, posture. His posture is one of humility. He recognizes him as God and he recognizes him as Father. At some point in our desire to have spiritual intimacy with God, our pursuit, our posture, and our position must reflect an empty heart that can only be satisfied by the joy that is found in His presence. And only a sincere heart will seek Him. And indeed, it is that sincere heart that attracts the attention of God. And don't forget Tuesday Night Encounters at Foster Park in Hallandale at 7 p.m., room 115. And be sure to join us next Tuesday for a new installment of Encounters with Pastor Mike.